Preventing Post on Reload. If you press the Reload button after a form has been submitted, you may see a message like this, warning you that the browser needs to resend data in order to display the page again. This message is shown for pages that are loaded as the result of forms submitted using POST. It's shown to warn the user that if the page is reloaded, the form data will be submitted again, which could repeat any action that was taken, like charging a credit card, placing an order, sending a confirmation email, etc. So here's the problem. The user fills out the form, clicks Submit, which sends the form data using POST. The script on the server takes the action and in the same script sends a confirmation page back to the browser. So when the user refreshes the page, they're refreshing this script. The message is displayed, the form data is reposted, and the script executes again. So any action that was taken will happen again. So let's have a look at this in action. Here we have a simple form with a credit card number which is submitting its data to this script. And in this script we're doing something that should only happen once. So we're going to do something like charge a credit card. And to simulate this, we're just going to save the current time to a file. And then in the same script, we're displaying a confirmation message and we're going to display this time that this one time action was executed. Let's have a look at this in the browser. So we have our form, we'll place our order, and we've executed the script. And as you can see we're in the browser, we're on the results page. So if we press refresh, we get the message that post data is going to be resent. Now a lot of users in my experience will just press enter. So seeing as this is the default button, they'll just press enter or they'll just press resend. This message is not very clear. So they press resend, the form data is submitted again. So if we refresh it again and take note of the time, the time will change. Because every time we're reloading the page and saying yes, the script is executing again, so we're charging the credit card, or sending the email, placing the order, every time the page is refreshed. So let's see how we can fix this. To avoid this message, we use the POST redirect GET pattern. After processing the POST data, instead of sending a response in HTML back to the browser, the server script redirects to another page which the browser loads using GET. So now the user fills out the order form, submits the form using POST, the server script inserts the order, charges the credit card or whatever, but instead of sending HTML back to the browser, it sends a response, a redirect response back to the browser. The browser then gets the confirmation page and sends this back to the browser so if the user refreshes the page, they're refreshing the confirmation page. And in the confirmation page, we're not doing the processing. So the, the message doesn't appear because it's using GET, and the problem is solved. Let's have a look at this in code. So now this, this, the form is exactly the same, apart from the action. The action is different. We're now processing um, the form using a different script. So what we've done is we've split, this is the original process form script, and in here we were processing, charging the credit card and displaying the message. So now, in the second process form script, we're charging the credit card, saving the time, but after that we're not sending HTML back to the browser, we're sending a redirect page. We're sending a redirect to the results page. So after we've processed the credit card, it sends a redirect back to this page. And this page is the page that, send, that says, thank you for your order, and displays the message. So let's have a look at that in the browser. So 
So here we have our form, we're going to submit the form and we can see that the page we end up on is the results page, not the process form page. So now if we refresh this page, it reloads with no warning message and we can see that the time hasn't changed. The credit card has not been charged again. We can reload this page. So by using the post redirect get pattern, we solved the problem.